you can automatically configure your tenancy for the required OCI vision uh, permissions using the resource manager. Um, and this is something that you can basically uh, configure with templates. It's a process that is available within the OCI console only. So this video will walk through basically how you can do that here. Um, so the page I'm on right now is the resource manager and you can navigate to this part of the OCI console by uh, clicking on the navigation menu. If you look under developer services, you'll see this page here for resource manager and that brings you here. Um, so, and again, to automatically configure everything that you need for the vision service, you'll wanna create a stack. Um, and then uh, this is already something that we've set up for you. If you look at the templates, um, you can just select template and basically uh, different services within OCI have created some of these sort of sample templates to be able to do these automatic configurations. And we've made one for OCI vision. Um, it's the template name is called vision here. Um, so you just check it and then click select template. <clears throat> so now you can see that this uh, vision template has been selected um, as part of stack creation. Um, and you can again, change the name if you want to. So it's something that's more memorable for you. Um, maybe like you're doing some sort of POC and you wanna name it OCI vision POC. You can um, edit this if you want to, or you know, call it test or whatever makes the sense, most sense to you. <clears throat> now here on this section, there's basically some required and some optional configurations you can do for the vision service. Um, so this first one here is basically the standard IM group and policy configurations you need just to be able to use the basic vision service, which is basically the synchronous processing um, and leveraging our pre-trained models. Um, so for this section here, what you need to specify is basically the group name for your security policies. So what is the, the group within your tenancy that you wanna give access to the vision service? Um, and uh, you can basically just uh, define what you want the root policy name to be for something that makes sense to you, <clears throat> that's required. Um, these two next sections here are optional. Um, so basically, if you want to not only just use the pre-trained models, like uh, something along the lines of OCR um, or pre-trained image classification, if you wanna do something like create your own custom image classification model, um, you'll wanna select this here. Um, this basically uh, uh, configures additional permissions that are required in order to handle the um, custom model training uh, and uh, 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 usage of any of your custom models essentially uh, within your tenancy. And then the section, second section here is if you want to not only uh, run our sync APIs, but you want to run batch jobs, uh, maybe you have just sort of uh, large amounts of uh, image content that you want to be able to um, run. So you can basically check this box here for use, use batch analysis um, so that you can basically analyze your images asynchronously in batch jobs. Um, so for this one here, what you need to define is essentially the compartment where you want the user group that you've given permission to above here, um, where they have permission to store the results of the batch analysis. Because again, these will be uh, some sort of JSON object that's the, the end result of these batch jobs and you have to put them somewhere. Um, so you can you know, assign and automatically you might see a root compartment within your tenancy, but if there's another compartment there, you can sort of just click it within the dropdown. <clears throat> Once you've configured everything here, you can click next. And essentially here you can just verify and review all the configurations that variables that you were defining in that second step um, and make sure that you didn't sort of make some some error in, in which group you wanted to define or which compartment, you can look at all this here. So once you're happy with everything that you've reviewed there, you can select run apply. Uh, this is applying basically the Terraform script um, to create all of the um, uh, vision resources that are needed. Um, and then you could create to create your stack. Um, and this operation may take several minutes to complete. Um, but basically this would be what you click to sort of kick 